Hello, everyone, and welcome to another installment of our Career Video Library series. Um, as always, my name is Zach Kosinski. I am the Coordinator of Employer Relations here in the Career Services Center. Uh, I'm joined today with uh, Cameron, who is from uh, Roseman University's new Biomedical Sciences program. He's going to talk a little bit about that program and what the benefits are for students who are interested. So without further ado, I'll go ahead and have him introduce himself and then we will jump right into our questions. Thank you, Zach. Thank you very much. And uh, hello to everyone. Thank you for having me here today. My name is Kamran Awan. I'm a full-time faculty here in the College of Dental Medicine, Roseman University of Health Sciences, based here in South Jordan, Utah. Uh, we have another campus in Henderson in Nevada as well. And I'm also a program director for our new one year master's in biomedical sciences program. Awesome, thank you. So um, can you tell us a little bit about Roseman University and the mission of the institution? So like I said, Roseman University of Health Sciences, uh, we have uh, three campuses, one based here in South Jordan, Utah. The other one is Henderson and Summerlin in Nevada. It's a not for profit private institution. We have the three, it's a healthcare institution. We have College of Dental Medicine, which offer DMD program. We have College of Pharmacy, which offers PharmD. And then we also have a College of Nursing. College of Medicine is in the process and we hope to start have our first class uh, in near future. And uh, uh, so we have students from all across the country, both in the state and out of state and uh, we have a very robust research uh, uh, institution as well. And that's where this new College of Graduate Studies, which was recently formed with two new master's program and offer uh, that come into in place. Awesome, thank you. So how did you come to work at Roseman University? And can you talk a little bit about the path that you took to get to your current position? So my background is more international. Um, I was born in Pakistan, uh, did my initial education back home, moved to England, uh, did my undergrad dentistry and a PhD in oral medicine from King's College London. Uh, then I worked at different places in Malaysia, England, uh, Middle East, and uh, moved to US a few years back. And uh, Roseman was uh, just, uh, I would say destiny, I would say, you know, uh, I, I knew a few people uh, through conferences, IADR, the International Association of Dental Research, which is the biggest dental organization research body. I met few faculties, a few leadership over there and got interested into research. At that time, Roseman was also exploring different avenues into research as an institution. And that's where I just, you know, fit right in the whole scenario where I, I came and joined university has been five years now. Time flies, you know, just looking back and, uh, but again, the whole process was just to boost up the research part of the institution. And that's where I came in and played that role. Awesome. So can you talk a little bit about the new biomedical sciences degree program and about what makes it unique? So this is a new program which we are offering now. It's a one year, 10 months to be exact master's in biomedical sciences program. It's a non-thesis based program. So it doesn't require any active research project or a, def or a thesis defense or anything like that. But having said that the students will need to complete a capstone project, which would be a literature review. So it starts from this fall um, it's a one year. And uh, the idea behind uh, this program is as a dental institute, uh, what we see that there have been a huge interest of students who would like to go into professional program, whether it would be dental, pharmacy and nursing, as well as medicine. And for some reason, they can't just make that threshold because of either their credentials are not good enough, they have lacking in terms of research, the GP and everything. So this one year program would be a great opportunity for them to provide that platform just to boost up their credentials just to give them some insight about you know, research and maybe get involved in some project, maybe have a publication out of that. And as a result, make their chances much higher to be able to match, match that threshold to get into a professional program. And also, if one would like to pursue a PhD in future, you know, it, it also opens up that research uh, avenues as well to go into industry 
or to become a full-time researcher or full-time academic academician you know a, a, a full-time faculty in an uh, in a teaching institute like roseman awesome that sounds like a really unique great opportunity for anybody who's interested in healthcare. so um what are the admissions requirements for this new program so we have few prerequisite uh, for the admissions uh, the applicants must have a minimum GP of 3.0. Uh, they need to fill out an application form which is available on our website. Uh, and uh, then they have to provide a personal statement or letter of intent, you would call that. Uh, they would need to provide three letter of recommendations as well. So all in all, we kept it very open uh, in terms of, again, the idea just to help those students which are struggling to get into a healthcare career. Awesome. And how can students prepare for graduate school at Roseman University? And how can they make themselves a more competitive candidate? That's a very good question. You know, so here in Roseman, we have a very unique policy, which, which we call lifelong colleague. So we believe in, uh, you know, lifelong connection, you know, learning where the students who come and join Roseman feel and live that uh, throughout their career. And we have a very open door policy as well. So um, students who would like to get into the, that graduate program, what we are looking for, their dedication and motivation, what's their end goal, right? How they are motivated in terms of meeting those standards. We have a very, very uh, nice uh, team-based learning environment. We do everything in teams, uh, in groups. Uh, our class model is very unique. We have a hexagonal style of classroom setting where there are screens and the students are at a 360 view of the classroom that the tutor is right in the middle, you know, so that those are the things, you know, which uh, sets it apart. And for the students who get into this program, you know, I, I feel that would provide them a very, very unique experience in terms of uh, uh, the experience they have as a graduate student. And once they graduate, you know, their career pathways would be much streamlined. Absolutely. And I've done a few meetings with Roseman now and I've learned about sort of the, the hexagonal setup. And I think it's, it sounds like a really interesting sort of structure that I sort of wish I could have experienced when I was in um, school. I think that would have been really cool. So, um, so when do applications open and when is the deadline to apply? So the applications are open right now and uh, our deadline is coming very soon. Uh, our deadline is August 15th. So that's just a couple of weeks uh, uh, far. And uh, we already in process of interviewing a few applicants which have already submitted their applications. So I would strongly, strongly encourage anyone who is interested just to apply ASAP. Uh, we would hope to have our first class September 7th, right after the Labor Day break. And uh, so with that in mind, you know, uh, they are ongoing at this point, you know, so we, we have uh, a couple of interviews lined up for this week, we have a few next week as well. So we are at that stage where we are trying to, you know, finalize the applicant pool, which we have received so far. Great. And just to clarify, so that that deadline is for this coming fall, right? So for fall 2021. That's correct, you know, so for this fall class of 2020. Two, you know, so they will graduate next year, right? So, yeah, so it would be for this fall. The deadline is August 15th. Cool. And then uh, do you know yet if you will be accepting applicants in the spring or is it only going to be for every, every fall? So it would be for every fall. You know, maybe in future we may have uh, spring uh, admissions as well. But, you know, for, for this few years, you know, just keeping everything, you know, uh, streamline. It's a new program, you know, so in that sense, we would be learning as we go in terms of different uh, administrative work and this and that. So it would be just offered in fall for now. Okay, awesome. Um, so my little bonus question here that I like to ask everybody I record with, which is what is a piece of career or life advice that you wish someone had given you when you were a student? Right, so <laughs> that's a very good question. Again, uh, I would say, um, I remember um, back in the dental school and there was one instructor, you know, I'm, I was really fond of, and he used to say, you know, the learning never stops. And, and that's what, you know, I have, you know, kept in mind, you know, 
you want you you may feel you know as you progress in career and life you know you know everything but that's not the case so so that attitude of learning all the time should be there and that applies to everyone you know we all go through tough times in our education in our career in our life here and there but never to give up you know just keep on trying and uh, look for opportunities to be successful you know and there are so many stories out there which uh, gives you that motivation just to keep that learning urge or learning you know hunger going on you know and that uh, pays off in the end for sure absolutely that's a great piece of advice and it also applies to while you're in school keep the learning going when you're outside of the classroom you know make sure that in everything you're doing you're trying to learn more get new experiences um, and just make yourself a more well-rounded student and individual so absolutely so finally if students have any additional questions they want more information um, who can they reach out to so they can reach out to me directly uh, my email is kawan, K-A-W-A-N, one word, at roseman.edu. Um, they can email me if they have any questions regarding the master's program or Roseman in general. They can also visit our website, www.roseman.edu, uh, which have College of Graduate Studies as a separate you know, web page. All the information about the master's in biomedical sciences program is up there, the application process, the prerequisite, even the curriculum and everything, you know, the timetable is every, everything is there. Awesome. Thank you so much. And thank you uh, for taking the time to talk with me today. And um, students, anybody watching this, thank you for tuning in. And if you have any more information, please feel free to contact him. If you need assistance applying to graduate school, we do do graduate school advising in our office. So you can uh, make an appointment with us at calendly.com slash NSC career. All that information will be available in the description of this video, as well as the contact information for uh, Cameron and uh, anybody else at Rosen University. So uh, thank you so much for your time and have a great rest of your day. Thank you, Zach. Thank you for having me and all the best to all those who are watching. Thank you.